it has just come to my attention that Nintendo has decided to make a new Nintendo 2DS. LL, or XL, as it's going to be called in the West. And my question is... Why? Now, I would make this a while I'm making coffee video, but I've already made my coffee. It was while I was pretty much making the coffee that I discovered this. So pretty much the coffee is already done. But I really want to talk about this because why, why make a new Nintendo 2DS? And I think the reasoning behind it is probably going to be the same as the original Nintendo 2DS, which was because they can make money out of it. It's a cheaper way for people to get into Nintendo consoles. I think they are trying to get back all the people who ran away to the mobile space and have them come back by having games like Super Mario Run or hopefully coming soon, Animal Crossing, on on iPhone, I believe. And I think the idea is when people rediscover how much they love Nintendo stuff, they're gonna need a cheap way to get back into Nintendo games. And as they've cancelled the Nintendo Classic console, it looks like they're gonna need a new one of these to be cheaper than the Switch, so that people can get back into Nintendo. It's like the gateway drug back into Nintendo stuff. And Nintendo 2DS, unfortunately, was not a clamshell design. With this clamshell design, it actually becomes a little bit smaller. And as you can see, with the new Nintendo 3DS, it's been it's become the same size as pretty much a phone. Like it's, it's, you know, it's, it's still a bit wider, but profile-wise, is that what you call it? Profile? It's not as wide as the the larger one, the new Nintendo 3DS LL, or the XL. So this regular size one is actually pretty good, it's quite pocketable. What I, my issue with the 2DS was that I just, I, wouldn't, I wasn't gonna bring that anywhere. It's a giant square shape that doesn't fit in your pocket, and because the screen's not protected, I was gonna have to put a screen protector on it, and I don't know, honestly, to me, personally, with the size of my hands, I just didn't find it very easy to hold, so I, I sold all of them, and in fact, this brings me on to my next point. Why make a new Nintendo 2DS XL? Because it's going to probably be, and I haven't checked out the details yet, I assume it's going to be the same resolution. Let me just check. If it still has the same number of pixels per inch, so we're talking about the pixel density, if it is the same as the new Nintendo 3DS LL, then it's Although, you know, got better contrast than before, I don't think it's going to be sharper, and certainly in the age of iPhones and high-density screens, do we really want another console with a low-density screen? I, I don't think so. But then again, it will be cheap, and so it will get people into it. So let's just bring up the Nintendo page here. So first of all, $150, which I assume is not very expensive. Certainly, you know, a lot cheaper than buying a Switch and has a much larger game library, and let's face it, I think a lot of people don't use the 3D feature. Yes, it's cool, and I turn it on for maybe some cutscenes, but I don't leave it on the whole time because, like 3D movies, I kind of forget that I'm playing in 3D anyway, so I don't really see much point in continuing it. This is the new Nintendo 2DS. Looks really nice, and I'll tell you what I think is happening here. It's a larger screen, obviously, than the regular version, and so it's got the XL screen size, but hopefully, and I haven't looked at it yet, hopefully it will be mobile phone sort of profile, because if it isn't, then how are you gonna put it in your pocket? Because that's one of the main issues with the XL, is that the, this is the new Nintendo 2DS XL, but can you see they've, they've clearly shaved a bit off the bezels here at the top and the bottom, which is good, because that way they can make it slimmer, in size and hopefully get it into people's pockets. That's gonna be one of the main things. So essentially, their main reasoning must be, one, to get more people back into Nintendo, hopefully because they've discovered it through Super Mario Run or Pokemon Go, they're getting back into Nintendo games. And the other thing is obviously to just capitalize on the fact that the 3DS still has a very large, popular game library. You can see a bunch of games swish swishing through here. And what's interesting is clearly, they are not aiming this at hardcore gamers who have already been playing 3DS until now. This is not aimed at people who want to upgrade their 3DS. This is for people who haven't yet played all these games. But look, these are all games that most of you will have already played. I mean, we've got Zeldarina. Zeldarina? <laughs> Zeldarina? What am I talking about? Majora's Mask or Ocarina of Time. And you've got Super Mario Kart 7. Or we've got... 
Animal Crossing. This is all stuff which has been out for three, four, five, six years. This is not new stuff. This is for people who never got round to playing a lot of this stuff, but they're getting back into Nintendo because, hey, they've rediscovered it recently. The main thing I think that's going to be important is this. This. <laughs> I tried to I tried to show it to you sideways. Hold on a second. What I think is gonna be important is this. Having it in profile, look how much that seems like an iPhone in shape and size. That's really important because if they can get it to look if they can get it to look like this, I think that's really important to make it look and compete with something that you might put in your pocket and bring places with you. I think that's gonna be really important. Obviously being a new Nintendo 2DS, it means that it will have access to all of Super Nintendo games on, on the virtual console. I think that's also really important. People who got into the 2DS and discovered that they can play virtual console games but they can't play Super Mario Brothers and they can't play, I don't know, F-Zero or whatever other virtual console games which I'm not playing. There are a lot of really great ones. I think you can play what? You can play Legend of Zelda. A link to the past on Virtual Console now. That's the sort of thing that I would want to play on something like this. If I were gonna buy, if I were just gonna pay $150 so I can play a bunch of old, bunch of old 3DS games and a ton of Virtual Console Super Nintendo games, this would this would be perfect. It's not expensive. This will be selling like hotcakes when it comes down to Christmas time. Absolutely sure of that. It's also got the C stick. Stuff like that, you know, if you want a slim, very portable way to play Monster Hunter, I mean, a, I mean, they just sold Monster Hunter Double Cross in Japan, and I'm pretty sure in a single month it sold roughly 2 million, or just under 2 million. They wanted to sell 2 million, but they didn't. Like, 2 million games in a month is, is, uh, it's big, that's a big deal. But Monster Hunter is probably Capcom's, you know, one of their biggest sellers really. Sorry, getting kind of excited, but you can see, look, price-wise, we're talking about $200 for the actual new Nintendo 3DS. So by shaving off the 3D function, which a lot of people aren't using, and also making it going from this sort of shape and size to this sort of mo- it's basically a couple mobile phones sandwiched together. I mean, it looks really, really nice. I really want to see size comparisons. Let me just check the size comparisons. Okay, so the new Nintendo 3DS height is going to be roughly 3.7 inches, right? But with the new Nintendo 2DS, it's 3.4. So it is a, it, it's a, a minuscule difference, probably like maybe that much difference. So unfortunately, I don't think it's gonna make a huge difference, but let's talk about thickness. How thick is it? Okay, it's the it's the same thickness, 0.8 inches. Uh, okay. So unfortunately, although it looks really swish, design-wise, it looks like it's going to be quite a bit smaller. It, in actual fact, it will not probably f it probably won't fit in your pocket much more easily than the new Nintendo 3DS. Uh, that's a shame, and it's not any thinner. So really, the only thing I think it has going for it is the the price. Includes an AC adapter. Now that's interesting because the new Nintendo 3DS XL doesn't have electricity. So if you're going to buy this as a gift, you know this is it's already it's the sort of it's got the same ideology that they were using for the 2DS. Put the adapter in it because this is the sort of thing that you would give to people as a gift. It's for people who don't yet have a 3DS. 3DS is being aimed at people who want to upgrade from their old 3DS to a new 3DS. 2DS is for people who just didn't buy into the whole DS thing, the 3DS thing. Also works with Amiibo, that's important because as far as I know, Amiibo sales, although they're going down, they are still selling tens of millions of them. I mean, Amiibo figures and the cards, I think the cards are selling as much, as many, so much, much wow. I think they're selling as many card Amiibo cards as they are selling of the Amiibo figures. Compared to the new Nintendo 3DS, screen sizes are identical. So here's the big question. Should you be buying a 3DS now? Or a 2DS? Or a new 2DS? Or a new 3DS? Or a Switch? And it's really going to come down to cost and games. Even if you buy a Switch, and even if they come out with a ton of games over the next few months, it's still nowhere near the number of games that you can play on this. If you haven't already played Animal Crossing, or Street Fighter, or Dead or Alive, or Tomodachi Collection, or My Tomodachi Life, I don't know what they called it in the West. Monster Hunter 3G, Monster Hunter 4G, Monster Hunter Cross, Monster Hunter Double Cross. There are just 
hundreds and hundreds of games to play on the 3DS, and if you haven't already got into them, there's so much there for you. And with the new Nintendo 2DS having the C-Stick, it means that you can have Monster Hunter with you in a slightly, slightly smaller package, and also cheaper than buying the new Nintendo 3DS XL, which was $200. So for $50 less, you're getting the same screen size and none of that 3D stuff, which a lot of people weren't using. Again, I do use it sometimes, just not all the time. And I thought it was a good idea. Just not a good enough idea to make people want to get go out and buy a, a 3DS. Personally, however, I have already played a lot of those games, so the new Nintendo 2DS is clearly not aimed at people like me. I'm still gonna buy one because it looks really cute. Hold, hold on, I'm gonna show you this design again. Oh, hang on a second, I think I've just import found something important. I think there is only one colour in the West, and in Japan I think it's gonna have two colours. Hang on, hang on. Okay, it's not very clear to me, but on the Japanese page I found this report which shows the blue and black version and the white and orange version. I really like the white and orange version. I think it looks excellent. I really, really, I really, really like the look of that. That looks really, really good. Oh, check out more, more photos of this. Ah, oh, new 2DS. <laughs> I'm actually really excited about this because it looks nicer. It actually looks nicer than the regular size new 3DS, and not too large. I, I just like how they've got rid of the bezel on the top, because on the original, they have quite a, a, a thick bezel because the camera was here when, in fact, they could have put the camera here. In fact, I think on what, on the DSi wasn't the camera in the middle? And I think they've gone back to that that design. This this is how it should have looked from the start. I mean, oh, I, re I really, really want one, and I already have a 3DS. I just don't know if I want to go back to low density screens, low, you know, low pixel density screens. Going back to the question, I don't think that this is a product for me. I'll probably buy one just because, hey, it's a video game channel and I like to buy all the Nintendo consoles. But if I weren't running a channel and I weren't really into the idea of having a slightly more, you know, a larger screen, but you know, still quite portable way to carry around Monster Hunter with me. I think I wouldn't I wouldn't go for it. I would probably stick with Switch. Why? Because Switch is showing a lot of promise as a virtual console machine. Okay, we don't have virtual console on it yet, but with all these Neo Geo arcade classics, I'm being able to play King of Fighters 98. I'm going to have Garo Mark of the Wolves coming out soon, and then after that, probably in about three or four weeks, we're gonna have King of Fighters 99, which is my all-time favorite King of Fighters ever. What's really interesting is how, you know, hold on, I'll just open this for you. What's really interesting is how they've released this news about the new Nintendo 2DS on the same day that this was released. Whoa! On the same day that Mario Kart 8 was released, and why? Why would they do that? Wouldn't you want to release the news about the new Nintendo 2DS on a day when, I don't know, Animal Crossing Mobile comes out? That would be the right audience. But the audience that already own a Switch, they're going on the shop, checking out Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, checking out all the Nintendo news. They see news about a new Nintendo 2DS, they're gonna go, yeah, so I've moved on, I've moved on, I don't, I don't really care about 2DS. I, I think it would have made more sense to release news about the new Nintendo 2DS one, in October, so that it would have had a great run-up for the Christmas sale time, or when you release news about a mobile game for iPhone or Android. That would have made more sense to me. Let me know if you find any information about what colors are coming out in your country. As far as I know, in Japan it looks like it's the blue and black, or the white and orange. Let's just check out new 2D... Ah, okay, okay, it's slightly making more sense to me. Okay, first of all, it doesn't look like you get the orange and white version in the West. All the websites, I'm on Polygon now, it's, it's saying that you'll get black and blue in the West. It doesn't look like you're getting the white and orange one. I, I have no idea why. Maybe just because it's a larger territory, it's harder to s gauge how much stock they're going to sell. But something I didn't understand is that it is releasing on July 28th, which is when Miitopia or Hey Pikmin come out. So games, again, Hey Pikmin, I, I don't think newcomers are going to be really excited about Hey Pikmin. I think the idea of a, a 2D Pikmin is nice. I saw the I saw the footage running of it, but I've never been into Pikmin games, so I don't really know much about it. That makes more sense, though. Instead of they're, you know they're not releasing it at Christmas because they're trying to capitalize on a few more 
3DS games that are coming out. I think that's a mistake. I think they should have timed it to come out with one of the mobile games. I think the audience, they've misunderstood the audience a bit. And it is a bit of a money grab. You know, Nintendo, as far as I know, they're doing very well with Switch, but financially they are still, you know, <laughs> there's no guarantee that this doing well is going to save the entire company. Let's hope it does, but there's still no, there's still no, not enough information there. So new, new Nintendo 2DS. I will buy one, I think. I will probably buy one, and if I can get my hands on a white and orange one, I will probably go and get that one instead. I think I might even not need this anymore if I don't if I if I have a new Nintendo 2DS. I, because I really don't use the 3D function. I could just stick to having the the 2DS the 2D version. The only problem is this is my modified one so for, for game capture, so I can't really sell this. I'm gonna come straight out and tell you I actually sold all of my new Nintendo 3DS XLs just because they were too big. So that's not looking good. I mean, if the new Nintendo 2DS isn't actually a great deal smaller or thinner, or, you know, you know, smaller in profile, easier, more pocketable than the old th Nintendo, than the new Nintendo 3DS, I don't know. It's not, it's not burning well, is it? To be honest, I'm happy with just Switch. And now that I have Mario Kart 8 and Zelda, here's something I want to talk about very briefly before we start. I, I, get, I know I keep saying like, I'm, I keep sounding like I'm gonna finish the video, but I have one more thing to say, is that with Mario Kart 8, it's perfect. We now have two huge Nintendo titles. One is a very large game that you can play small, you know, just do a single temple, or you can just run around and do a bit of cooking. You can do small things in a large game, anytime. And now with Mario Kart 8, you can play entire races in, you know, in a matter of a couple minutes and, and be finished with it. So if you've only got five or 10 minutes between one train stop and the next train stop, you could probably get in a couple good Mario Kart races. And those are full experiences. That's not just part of a much larger open world, huge epic scale RPG. That's just, you know, you've done a race and you're done. You won, or you lost, or you didn't, you came second, I don't know. So I like the balance right now, having the huge game that you play little bits of, or having the smaller games and you just keep playing full chunks. Full, full chunks, I don't know if that's the right terminology. Super random, just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know about the new Nintendo 2DS. What do you guys think? Are you gonna buy a new Nintendo 2DS? If you are going to buy one, let me know in the comments. I'm definitely gonna get the white one, I think, at least so I can make a video and show you guys. I, I'm keen also to see, you know, the screen quality, how does it compare to maybe a 2DS or a 3DS, that sort of thing. And uh, I guess I guess maybe I should start getting back into some 3DS games. I might play Hey Pikmin, who knows, or Ever, Ever After Quest? Ever After Story? I don't even remember what it's called. It doesn't look like a, the sort of game that I'm gonna be really excited about, but hey, good to always have new IP coming up all the time. That's a good thing. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, share the links and all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next Nihongo Gamer video.